Hey everybody, welcome to the shop today. Uh, if you don't know, my forge is broken again. Uh, the strap, it keeps breaking on it, which I'm not too happy about. And I want to go ahead and address the problem, and I'm going to make it a power blower. And I have this uh, old shop vac that the base is cracked on it, and I can't really do anything else with it. It doesn't suck very well because all the air is blowing out. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is use the actual motor of it and create my own blower. What I have found out so far is that the air is getting sucked in through this bottom hole and then the air is blowing back out through this section right here. So what I'm going to do is section it off of this and try to box in this section and maybe create a hole on the top to where I can put the hose and it'll kind of sit on the box like that and then this will actually go to the forge and create the little blowing action on it so I don't know if this is going to work but I'm going to take you guys along on the build and if it works good if not move on to the next thing All right, now that I've gotten my, I guess the front and the back or the two sides cut out, I've got to find the center of the board and that's where I'm gonna drill, or, yeah, drill this two and a half inch hole for this piece to fit through. Because I may want to change this out or have to adjust something, I'm not going to go ahead and glue it. I'm just going to leave it and uh, screw it together and that's how this box is going to be held together.
I've gotten the box completely screwed together. I've got my hose attached to the little nozzle coming out. And this is where I've done all my cutting uh, for the box with the table saw. So it's got a bunch of sawdust right here. And uh, I haven't tried it out yet, but hopefully with the part sticking out right here, it'll actually suck in the air, put it in the box, and then blow it out through the hose. And then it'll blow the sawdust towards you guys. So let's go ahead and try it out real quick and cross your fingers please <laughs> So now all I have to do is get this actually piped to the forge and I don't have any coal right now so I don't want to just put it on there and just be blowing it. We saw all the sawdust blow so I know that it works. Um, maybe uh, in the future I'll put a hard, a hard pipe off the top right here so that I can actually open and close how much air is going in and out or out of it. Uh, when I did uh, do it a second ago, I noticed out of the cracks I did have some air blowing out, but that's expected with the box just gluing, or not being glued up, it's just screwed all together. Uh, but I'm really, really happy that it's working correctly, and I don't think I'm going to have any issues with it. But now all I got to do is get it piped to the forge, and hopefully we'll be working with no hand crank anymore. So. Thanks for joining me today on building this little easy box for a blower. This could even be put to blow leaves, I guess. So think about the different things you could do with it. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you check out my Facebook page at facebook.com slash a slice of wood. Uh, my website at www.sliceofwoodworkshop.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out all my other videos. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you guys later.